Hello everyone, welcome back to Long Branch Homestead. Uh, this video here, I just thought I'd talk about garlic. Um, the whole process of, you know, planting it, uh, growing it, harvesting it, you know, curing it, the process of curing it, uh, and storage. So uh, it's not something that can be, uh, you can, not like an onion, you can just plant and, and have, a, have a yield from it a couple months later. It takes uh, eight, nine months, 10 months maybe. But uh, anyway, uh, I thought I'd uh, explain it to you and show you. So uh, let's go. Okay, I want to show you the cloves that are inside the head of the garlic. Here's three of them here. Um, and what we'll do, we'll plant, this will be the top where the stalk will grow out of. And this was the root end of where the garlics will end up growing from. So let me show you how to plant them. And uh, um, I have a little area here, I'll just for demonstrative purposes, I'll uh, show you how to plant them then, okay? Um, I'm gonna plant right here next to my pumpkins. Uh, put a row in. Now the soil needs to be loose and loomy. You want to push the cloves in two or three inches into the soil. So give a little bit of something to sit into. Like I said, they need to be two to three inches deep. Six inches apart. And then cover them up. Make sure you have about two inches of soil on top of these. And that's it. Then you cover them up with straw. They let them winter, and I'll show you here over in the uh, in our other row. Okay, this is the row we planted. Um, what we did was cut every, uh, covered everything with straw, so it winters well. So, but the best time to plant here, we're in zone 5B, so in Pennsylvania here. So, uh, uh, if you want to plant mid-October, uh, no later than Halloween. So, uh, and then just let it go. You don't want any weeds to build up around them, even this spring, even now because um, uh, the garlic doesn't want to compete with the weeds too well. So um, at that point we have, uh, when these stalks, these leaves off the stalks, they start to get brown. The first two or three are from the bottom. That's time to probably pick them. So you want to check the first one, make sure it's good. And if it is, you want to go harvest the rest of them. So, uh, and then what we'll do is we'll go and we'll take, put them on a rack, we'll dry them out. Um, so they cure real nice and then we'll uh, for about two to three weeks or so um, and then we'll uh, store them so uh, I'm gonna harvest them right now and, uh, I'll show you what they look like okay let's go It was a little damp today, so uh, the mud, the soil just kind of tries to clamp, cling on to the uh, garlic a little bit. But um, we normally we use a, you, you could use a spade shovel, but we don't have one of those. So, but we find that this normal uh, pointed shovel ju works just as well. So.
That's a nice sized garlic right there. harvest from one row this is one pound of garlic cloves and look what it produced whole basket full that probably weighs about I don't know 10 pounds 10 15 pounds so yeah very cool okay the harvesting is all done so the next thing we'll do is uh, set up a little area for them to cure so uh, up in the garage there somewhere so anyway let's go Okay, this is the curing process here. What I did was I got a screen door. Um, it's nice and sturdy. Um, it'll work really well here for the, uh, for the garlic. So um, it offers nice airflow from underneath. Um, the circulation, I got two windows open on each side of this uh, garage here. So I got a little cross ventilation. It gets a little warm up here, but uh, the climate would be just right for this. So uh, what I'm gonna do is Start laying them out. I'll alternate the heads. We have we have 38 heads of garlic so uh, actually the screen door is just the right size so uh, yeah worked out good so uh, we'll let that sit for two to three weeks um, check on them and uh, at that point we'll just uh, we'll set up uh, our storage area for them so and then we'll we'll show you that so okay okay the final thing we do with the garlic is storing it um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this crate here because it has a lot of uh, a lot of airflow through it. So you want to put a little layer of garlic in the bottom and a little layer of paper and a little layer of garlic and a little layer of paper. Um, and we're going to store it in our basement um, because the temperatures are 50 to 55 degrees. You want to keep it that temperature and it'll store all winter. You could also braid the garlic, braid the stems and hang them. So also it still has to be in, you know, in your, a root cellar or a basement or something like that um, where the temperatures are nice and cool. So anyway, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Bye now.